Hi guys, it's Erin. Just wanted to make a quick video to um, give you a homework assignment. And that is to try to make friends with somebody that you wouldn't normally be friends with or that you don't really know that type of personality or, or culture or ethnicity race um, just try to be more open minded of others cultures and backgrounds and just build build some type of relationship with somebody um, whether it's like you know it it could be a neighbor or a clerk at a grocery store or a convenience store or a um, just be friendly to them. Even if it's just like, like, I was going to say like a kid, <laughs> there's like, you know, kids give you the most insight on like how people are, how their parents are, how their culture is, like who the core of that person is. So, for instance, like their family can seem like they have negative traits, but their children show their real core and who they really are deep down without all this other, these other problems that came upon them in their lives. So I'm not saying to go and be friends with children if you're an adult. That's like not, not what I'm saying at all. But if you just kind of like observe or, you know, and that's kind of creepy too. So I'm trying to say it in a way where it's, yeah, I don't know. It just sounds weird. But what I was thinking was is, I live in an apartment building and there would be like different, um, different children that are playing around and just as I'm, you know, walking to my car or doing my own thing, I would just notice what they were doing and what they were saying and, um, not judging even if it was bad things, like just not judging and just being open-minded <clears throat> about their culture and their activities and all of that. And just really be like understanding of different types of people in different cultures. And I made, you know, friends with these little kids because they would just like say hi to me and just, you know, ask me if I needed help carrying something and it's just so cute, you know, and and just really understand that it's hard for people that are of different cultures that are in a community that where they might feel like they don't have a lot of people like them. So just to have that acceptance and that warmth from somebody that's not of their culture, um, it shows that their willingness to be open and accepting of your culture as well. So it just it just feels good, you know, and it's actually meant something a lot to me making these friendships with these kids where I can, you know, you know, it's not like I am invading on their space or they're invading on my space. It's just a very casual thing, but it's like, 
human beings can sense a relationship forming even though it's so like small insignificant um of a relationship in the grand scheme of things but but you and that other person feel a significance about it the fact that you see each other that you recognize each other that there's a smile that there's a feeling of acceptance and a feeling a, a good feeling that's coming from it even if it's just like you go to the same store frequently and you see that cashier and you don't even know if they remember you or not but you know that you remember them and that you have a good feeling when you see them and you it makes you happy to say hello to them and ask them about their day and they do the same to you or whatever it is that you have going on but it's good to have those little connections and who knows like how it builds you know or if it builds at all it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter it's just like being open just being open to different types of people and different cultures and different you know even different walks of life um yeah with no expectations no like intentions just freely just being a kind person but being aware like you're feeling the situation out so it's like in your comfort zone it's not like you're going over to somebody that feels creepy or something and you're trying to make a conversation no don't do that um it's just like being open that's what I'm saying because all of this seems like so um touchy of subjects you know like I don't want to I don't want to give the wrong impression or make it seem a way that it's not. So I just want to make make it clear that in my own experiences, that's how I go about my life, is I observe a lot. Like I observe and... It's like I'm doing it subconsciously, so that's why I'm trying to relay this in the proper way. Like, you're, my mind is like very open-minded. And I get a feeling of people's energies. So if you can try to do that, if you feel the good energy from that person, you know, just make a little bit of effort to be kind and, you know, say hello or smile or, you know, engage more in, you know, don't don't just ignore the fact that you could build, you know, a <laughs> simplistic relationship with people, okay? That can be very significant in your life. I hope that makes sense. And I hope you can... This makes you enjoy your life as like an adventure, a, there's all types of 
unknowns out there and it makes you feel more connected to to the world around you and to others and to observe people in a way that you're very open-minded and open to cultures and you're not just ignoring things, ignoring other types of people and having judgments against them. So it actually expands your mind. So you're, you're not having any prejudgments on people, okay? So have a great day and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, peace.